guys, High Times with Ty here, and welcome to my very first shipbuilding video in Starfield. I hope you guys are ready for this one, because it's going to be a doozy of a build. It's a behemoth. It is what I call the Abyss. Uh, I actually have a render right here, and we're going to rebuild it, uh, but we're probably going to modify a couple things to make it a little bit tougher. Uh, so that's what we're going to start with. And taking a look at this, I just wanted to see how I had this laid out because we're changing it up just a little bit. We're going to go back over here to the Discovery and enter the ship build. Oh, and before I mention, uh, I do have webcam and face cam, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Uh, sorry to be silly. Uh, double click to go ahead and delete that entire damn thing because you don't need it. Uh, you can buy any ship. It doesn't matter. Uh, and the first thing I always start with is going to be adding a bay. And the one that I want is this one, the Shipbed 200 Landing Bay from Tayo. Uh, the reason is, is because it opens from, you enter through the back, which is exactly what I'm looking for right now. Uh, and then if you hit G while hovering on that, that doesn't mean that door interacts with this tab. Uh, and what I want to do is go down to Stroud Eklund. That's what I'm using. You are more than welcome to use whatever parts you want to make this ship the way you want it. But I'm using Stroud Eklund parts. Uh, just overall, it just looks more fancy, in my opinion. Uh, but, like I said, my opinion doesn't matter. So, choose whatever parts you want. The ship overall, we're going to be hiding the halves with a lot of structural components. So... It doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Uh, I'm just going with Stroud. Uh, and I'm going to go with a 2x3 Stroud Eklund cargo hall. And that is connected right there. Automatically wanted to go right there. It could have. I don't want it there. I want it in the middle. And then I'm going to add a reactor, which is going to be... Oh, Oh, no, grab drives first, sorry. Uh, we're going to go with the NG300 from Galactic. Uh, and then we are going to, we're going to end up paging this up. And now I'm just going to go back down. And then we're going to add one more piece. I always like hitting this one instead. And we want a reactor. Which is the best one on here is the Fuse DC-401 Reactor. And I do plan on surrounding that. So what we're going to add is a 1x1 one one HAB companion way. Hover over that, hit Control g and you'll move in over there. These doors are going to interact no matter what. If you want, just be on the safe side, you can hit G and go ahead and do that just like this. Next thing we are going to add is going to be an infirmary because uh, that's going to get us two things that we need on this ship. Uh, and that would be a research center and a pharmaceutical lab. So hit this. We're going to go to the Stroud one, uh, two by one A. And we're going to just scroll all the way until we see infirmary. We got one of those. Uh, now over here, do the same thing, hit G. This is going to make sure that door works. Uh, and over here, we're going to go all the way to the end, which we want the workshop because it gives us all the other in-game in uh, workbenches. Just like that, that's a workbench. Uh, and then right here, technically, I think the best way to do it would be add... And I want a Stroud, and we want a storeroom. And we want to boom, boom, that right there. So now that's completely surrounded. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, then right here, we're going to add another one of these. Do control G, like that. And then now we're going to add a living quarters and a um, do, 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 uh, weaponry. So in order to do that, you'll hit G on this door. 
it automatically wants to do a three by one birth. Do not let it go to your two by ones. And we're going to find a living quarters. This is for all the, um, for all your standard people. Uh, and then right here, you'll hit G again, two by one. And we want the armory right there. Uh, feel free to hit that and then you'll just move that forward. So, so far we got a box. Boxes can be fancy. Uh, so the next thing I actually want to add is going to be two. Uh, I think it's the battle stations. Actually, no. Hold on. G, and I want some structural pieces. Don't want to go too far that way. Structural, and we want the bellies. And did we have that go out by two? Hold on. I don't remember. Uh, but we were using the Daymos Hall for that. Yeah, we did have that going out by two. So, control G. Control G, copy that. Control G, copy that. So boom, right there, we got a good portion of our structural stuff done. And then on top right here, we are gonna be adding a battle station. If I can find Habs, we want the Stroud. And then you can look through these. We got the brig, cargo hall, computer core. Uh, so this one right here will actually give us five. Well, two crew stations. So that right there can go there. And then we'll add a other one. And I do want the battle station. That is for sure. That's gonna get us some more crew. And then, on top of this, I believe, let's go G, Q, 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 T, and we're going to put two of these. So there we go. And we are almost done with this this sort of little section. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to go here. And we want cockpits. And I want... Oh, it does have it. Okay, I'm just blind. Delete. G, and we want the Cabot, Cabot th C4 bridge. We're going to place that right there. And we're going to go RR. We want it to be in this area. We could have it slightly out farther. But I think that's going to defeat the entire design of the ship. So we are going to do, 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 R that up. And we'll put a mess hall right here. Just so that we can throw something. 
We need a Stroud Eklin. Just like that. Uh, we will go F and hook that on right there. And actually, we can do a little bit more than I wanted to originally, which I'm actually sort of happy. So from here, I'm going to hit G and we're going to be adding a captain's quarters. Then we're looking for the do do do. Looking for that. And then actually we'll add another weapons tree. Armory enter. There we go. And this is where a lot of the structural stuff will start coming into play. Because uh, we're going to add some structural pieces now. So T, structural. And I am looking for, I believe it's the Teo. Actually, I do like the Stroud. And then right here we can add two cargo. That's going to add a lot of math. Uh, just a forewarning. Control G and then Z flip it. Just like that. And then GT, pop that down there. Uh, we'll be adding some windows over here. So control G and then rotate the ship. Z flip it. Control G. Boom. This one actually we're going to need three. Because what I want to add here to the end of this is a Stroud. Where are we? Right here and we'll Z. Z, Z, flip that. Do a control G again. Control G, Z, flip. There we go. And then we still have room for, we're going to put a hab right there to put a stopper. Control G, copy, and then we're going to Z, 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 we can, okay, we don't want that, we want G, but we want a Stroud mid-bracer, and then G, we want a weapons mount, weapons mount is a Nova item, so right there we're going to have some weapons, Okay, now you're probably wondering, what are we going to do for landing gear? Uh, I already have that in mind. So, we are going to go over here. We're going to hit G. You're going to hit Q, 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 Q. And then, right here, we're going to flap that right there. Hit a control G. Nope, control G. Short it middle and 
like this. And then another control Z. Boom, boom. Put it on the front just like that. And then what we can do is a control. Control, click all of this. Hit control G. And then you have one entire big piece that you can move over here. And what I'm going to do is place it. Boom, Z flip. Z flip. Z flip. And then another Z flip. There we go. There we go. That adds a lot of character onto our ship. That goes right there. Okay. We are almost to where I want this to be. We are four high. Uh, we got to add some engines here on the back. Uh, let's look at our flight check. Uh, we don't have any engines and we don't have a docker. So what we're going to do real fast is come on the very bottom of this ship. And right here, we're going to add a dock, Q, 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 and we're going to do a slim docker right there. So now that knocks out one of them. We are at 101,000 101, credits on this build so far, which is awesome. Uh, we'll hit G, and then we want engines, so let's find engines. So this is the big boy. Mobility, 100. That's exactly what I want, maximum power. Uh, we're gonna add a couple more engines on, so but they're gonna be more lightweight. And then right here, we want structural, I believe, unless they're in, they could be in HABs. I can't remember. Let's look through here. HABs, fine. Nope, not that. Uh, Nova Cross Bridge. We'll hit Control G. Control G. Actually, no, we just need it to be three out like that. Control G that. This way it creates a walking path. And then we'll add a another, we're gonna add a living quarters. Living quarters. And then we'll do a control G of that. Control G. And we'll place that right there. G. And then we're going to add two more. Uh, we are going to do this, but we are going to Z flip it like that. Control G that. And then boom. Right now we're at 2100 light years. Uh, we are going to add G, Q, Q. And we want some of these engines that are not like super, super powerful. And we'll Z flip that. Boom. So we have more of a solid look. G. 
g and then we're going to add some cargo uh, this is going to be cargo that is shielded and i believe nope it's not that i want it it's definitely this And then we will copy that. We haven't even added on our regular cargo yet. which that's just a little rough. We're already at 1800 light year. Uh, we do need cargo though. Cargo is very, very important. Uh, you have to jump a couple times. I guess it's not the end of the world. And we'll probably do some more research on yeah, because what happens if we get rid of that? I guess it's up to 18, which isn't much and very low. We'll just undo that. Control G. We are going to R that up. Control G. Z flip. Something like that almost. Something like that. Okay, and then we will add some more fuel. Okay, and now we just have some different things that we need to add. Uh, so we'll do G, um, Q, Q, Q. There's weapons not in this, so structural equipment plate. Do we want to just add a couple weapons on the top? And then we want to add a jammer right there. So G, Q, uh, these are jammers and you can get these from the, uh, from the key with the Crimson Fleet. Uh, you would have to start that side quest in order to unlock that. Uh, and then we're also going to add a shield because shields are necessary in this game. And we want a pretty bulky one. I'm probably going to go with you right there. Or... Eh. This is definitely a very powerful ship. You know, all, all we have left to do is add some weapons. So, G, and yeah, we are going to be adding some very powerful 
if I can get all the way down to the very bottom here, some very, very powerful uh, Tourette's. So we are going to do a ZZ flip. Control G. And then move one over there. G. Uh, then we're going to do a auto beam. Control G. Just like that. Then I want some missile launchers right there. Another thing of missile launchers. And then what we could do, it's always nice to have like maximum amount of ability. I feel and at the, the end of this we are at 1600 light years which honestly isn't the end of the world and it's a pretty big ass ship uh, all we have left to do now is adding some awesome little things for like this Q structural porthole G porthole. I do like adding. Oh, wrong thing. Porthole. These are just side ones. You know, we are going to add them at basically every possible one. Just on the ones that are like facing the outside of the ship. Uh, G. Porthole. Porthole. Did I put any in the center over here? Nope, I didn't, but we are going to. It just feels wrong not putting one there, you know? Definitely when you have the ability to. Porthole. All right, and then we just have a couple more portholes to add back here. I like the idea of having a porthole back there. Porthole, porthole, there we go. So now that this is completely finished, uh, besides obviously coloring it, and that's a big ass ship. Uh, so we are gonna go ahead and just double click, hit J. Okay, so the first color is obviously the one that ends up like being the definition of your ship depending on like what you'd want uh, for the bis I'm thinking more of a black main color with some red undertones so we are gonna make it jet black right there then we're gonna add some red maybe a deeper red yeah something like that And then, maybe like a lighter red, because this is like the epitome of darkness right here. Boom. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, is it overkill on portholes? Probably. It has decent mobility.
uh, after adding all the weapons, it's just like, oh, we don't know. Which, that's fine and dandy. Uh, so what we need to do is, I believe it's control. Nope. G, rename ship. Rename, and we are going to call this the abyss. There we go. Confirm it. Uh, now we have engine access, engine power. You said ship is using too much power for engine. Reduce engine count. So we are using too much power. So if we get rid of you and get rid of you. Oh, hold on. You want to get rid of you and you what if we move you hmm I wonder what type of engines I can put there in its place then if that doesn't want to go Hmm. Like, I want to have a higher mobility. What would happen if we just deleted that? That's not really doing much for the mass. These are probably quite heavy. No, shockingly enough, it's not the weapons. I think it's more of the cargo, which to me isn't the end of the world. We have 1,700 light year, 17 light years. I think we're good. We're going to go ahead and test this out against, well, oh, we got to do the weapons check. Boom. Boom. Oh, no, I want that to be the elf beam, and then I want that to be the missile launcher. There we go. What is our warning? There we go. Accept modification. There we go. Home ship. Uh, we are good to go ahead and try flying this sucker. Look at this beast. Powerful little monster right here, I have a feeling. All right, we're gonna walk through the ship. We're gonna be greeted by the cargo bay. Uh, you can go through this door right here. And you'll get into the workshop, which has a research center, what space use workbench, weapon workbench, industrial workbench. That's the one. Uh, then you can come through here, which is going to be another two. This will be the infirmary. Uh, this has a research lab and a pharma pharmaceutical lab and right here you can tell the door did not connect so that will have to get modified in the future um we should be able to go through a door right here yep how are you oh to the weaponry And over here is a living quarters. You fly, you can walk over here into another living quarters. 
and there are windows on everything. You can run all the way across again to the there. And over here is another living quarters. Living quarters, living quarters. I like to have as many people on my ship as possible. Oops. I thought these ladders were not going to be an issue. Come through here. Control room. Now we're going to be in the mess hall. Right here is the cockpit. And then you come through here. And we have the battle station. Pretty cool, huh? We'll complete darts. As you can tell, you cannot get to where I sleep easily. You actually have to come all the way to the cockpit to get to the captain's quarters and as you can tell there are no stairs in here and I have my own private weaponry with my own view out the back of the ship over my massive engines oops wrong way let me open that All right, we are gonna go ahead and shut the door behind me. And we are gonna go ahead and take a seat. And now we're gonna go ahead and blow some UC Collective out of the water. That's one big ass ship. All right, what are we? E. Uh, I know one place we can go very, very quickly. We'll go to Alpha Centauri. Uh, and over to Jemison. X, set course. There we go. And right now, I want you guys to like and smash and hit hit that like button for what we're about to do i'm going to go ahead and do a quick save so we can come back to here uh we are just going to grab drive there we go where are you you see right there There we go, $1,500 bounty. Let's go, guys. This may not end well. We are going to repair.
you think? You're pathetic. <laughs> One last person alive. Witness killed. 4,500 bounty. There we go, guys. As you can tell, this ship just wiped out a full fleet of the UC. So. Well, I think that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of these, just let me know. I also have a Discord channel. Also, link in the description below. If you guys want to chit-chat, share off your own builds, I am always, always open to seeing more people join my community. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.